All right, hello guys, my name is Rush Badger, and today I'm gonna to show you roughly how I get my color settings in Battlefield 3. I know a lot of you have been asking for this for the longest time. Like, that's probably the, the main question that I get is, how do you make your game look like that, bro? It's so not blue, dog. It's like, okay, if you wanna get rid of all of the blue, then I will show you exactly how I did it, and you can have a virtually identical color setting compared to what I have. So. The first thing you want to do is you'll just go to whatever web browser you have, you know, meow, 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 Chrome, Firefox, whatever, and you type in Realmware, R-E-A-L-M, Ware, BF3, Color Tweaker, if I can type correctly. And as it'll be the first one. It's a really popular web page. So you go there, and then you're going to go to Downloads, which is over on the right-hand side right here. You see that? Downloads. And then... I, I got the one from October 5th, 2012. I'm going to do the setup.exe. It'll download it for you. See that in the bottom right? I'll even zoom in for you. Bottom right, right over there. That's not really, the zoom in didn't help at all. But okay, so it's down here, and you can do that, or you can go for your downloads folder. But either way, start the installer. So you go run, and you say next, blah, 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 blah. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that. But just install it. It should be really straightforward. You can install it anywhere you want. It really doesn't matter. It will do the same thing no matter where you install it. Okay? Okay. So you, you install it, and once you have that done, like I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that again. Okay. So once you have it installed, you're going to go over and double click. It should be on your desktop. If not, you can just go down to search and type in, you know, BF3 Color Tweaker. See, it comes up right there. So Either way, just access the program, double click on it, and then from here on out, it's just editing values. So, I don't know if I can, can I make this any, oh, I can't really zoom in on this very much. Hopefully you can see it, but basically what's happening right now is that all you gotta do is just change, like, in terms of changing the colors, all you're really doing are just changing values. That's all, that's all it is. It's not like you have to go into, oh, no advanced code, I'm hacking the mainframe. It's, it's just a matter of changing values. So you have to change it for each individual map, which is sort of a tedious process, but I'll go over every single value with you guys just so you know exactly what each one is. Grand Bazaar for brightness, I have 111, and then I have 1.18, 1.18, 6308, 1 846 for the blue in terms of contrast, and these are just, I think what probably will be best is if you just go down, I'll just slowly go through each one of these, and you can just pause your video type in the values in your personal color tweaker and then move on. So once, like for example, let's say you just edited red to whatever, five million, whatever. Okay, I'll keep it at one. I'll keep it at one, because that's what I have it at. And then you're just gonna click save settings and you're good. You're good for that map. You move on to the next one. So there's quite a few, like I, I think Rambazar is the first one that comes up, but you can also adjust sun intensity. I don't really like the sun on Grand Bazaar, so I turn it off most of the time you can just change it to whatever you would like. Now, a quick disclaimer, if you're going to actually edit any of these values, technically, I guess this is sort of a bannable offense. I guess people haven't banned in the past for this, but... So, so I, I want to essentially say the disclaimer that if you use this, there is a possibility that you will get banned from Battlefield 3 and have to buy a new game if you want to do that. But, so, so, don't get mad at me if you're gonna make these changes and then you get banned but this is my personal experience I installed this like months ago at least two or three months ago and I haven't had a single issue with in terms of like getting banned getting warned I have not had any issues at all because this is not giving you an advantage it's just sort of tweaking the way that you see the game it's just making things a little bit prettier it's just making colors a little bit different it's not like you can drastically see any better. It's it's not a there's no performance advantage. It's all visual, so it's not really it's not cheating if you ask me by any means. It's all visual. Like, okay. But that's sort of my disclaimer. You can get banned if you change these values, but so do this at your own risk. Despite the fact that I haven't had any problems, doesn't mean that you won't have any problems. And okay. Moving on from Grand Bazaar, you've seen all these values. Tehran Highway. I believe the default sunlight intensity here is all zero and there's there's no color. I don't do color grading on, on virtually any of these maps, but here's the values. It's one all the way down for brightness, 1.17, and then a few numbers for contrast, and all of these saturation are at 0.8. Moving down to Caspian border, and don't forget, every single time you do it, you click save settings. I guess you can do that for each individual, or after you're done, after you're done with all the maps, but I just do it after each single map. 
just to be sure. And if you have any problems with any specific map, you can always click restore to false and you go exactly the way back to blue all over your face, just like it is by default. Okay, on Caspian Border, I've got 1.04 for all of the brightness. I've got 1.2 for all of the contrast. I've got 1.0 for all the saturation. And you can see the sunlight intensity over here. And then I also have zero for the hue, 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 and I don't have color grading enabled. For Zen Crossing, I have one all the way down for brightness. I have about 1.15 for all of the contrast. I have one for saturation, and I've got about seven, six, and five for the red, green, and blue. Yet again, the hue is at zero, and there's zero color grading that is enabled. Scrolling on down to Firestorm, I've got red, green, and blue all at one for the brightness. I've got 1.92 for all of the contrast. I've got 0.915 for all of the saturation. And for sunlight intensity, I've got about 6, 5, and 3.7. 6, 5.2, and 3.7. Yet again, zero for the quay, and there's no color grading enabled. Let's just check. And okay, Donovan Peak. 1, 1, 1 for brightness. 1.2 for all the contrast. 0.7 for the saturation. And zero quay, no color grading. And 1.2 for the red for sunlight intensity. 1.05 for green and 1.05 for blue. And then scrolling on down, no shark canals. I think this one is another one that I might tweak or I might like it a little bit better on default, but these are my settings anyways. I think it creates a little bit of a fog, but if you wanna know my settings, this is what I run it at. I have it 111 for red, green, blue, and brightness, 0.96 for the red on contrast, and then I've got one for green, one for blue in the contrast section too. And then I've also got 0.9 for all the saturation, about 1.0, there's a few different, 1.5. 1.5 for green and blue and then 1.0 for, for red in terms of sunlight intensity and then zero for the way and no color grading. And I think, okay, Carg Island is the last one that's sort of normal and then Operation Metro is like a really, really goofy one. Okay, so brightness is one, all the brightnesses are all, are all at one, contrast is all at 1.07, saturation is all at one, sunlight intensity is 2.346, green is 1.491 and blue is about 0.95 and yet again, zero way and no color grading. Operation Metro is kind of a tricky one because if you look at the bottom right right here, it says section of the map. So technically in terms of Battlefield 3, it treats the Battlefield 3 Operation Metro Park, Subway, and City as like almost different maps. So you have to change the color grading on each different one. So for Operation Metro, the park section, I have one for brightness, 1.08 for contrast, 0.8, about 0.846 for saturation, no way, no color grading, and 4, 3, and about 1.88 for the sunlight intensity. And if you move on to the subway, I have, it's it looks pretty similar, but not quite. Okay, for the subway, I've got one all the way down brightness, 1.17 for all the contrast. Saturation is right here. That's, they're all about 0.8, and then I've got 8.8 .8 red, 7.7 .7 blue, or green, and 5.6 blue for the sunlight intensity. And yet again, no way, no color grading. And for the city, I've also got one for all the brightness, 1.12 for all the contrast. Saturation, you know, that's usually about 0 0.8, 0 0.7. You can see the values there. And then 6, 5, and 3.4 around for the sunlight intensity, no way or color grading. And back to, back to Carcan, I won't... I won't do close quarters or armor kill because I don't play those really frequently and I, I just don't play them enough to change the colors. I really haven't found a whole lot of good settings for the close quarters or armor kill DLCs, but I will show you back to Carcan. And that's most of what I play, just back to Carcan and Battlefield 3 Vanilla. So for back to Carcan, I believe they're all the same. All of the regular values are the same, except for the sunlight intensity differs for the different maps. So for Strike at Carcan, and okay, Strike at Karkan, Gulf of Oman, Sharky Peninsula, and Wake Island, all of them have the same brightness, contrast, and saturation values. You don't you don't need to have a different one for any of these maps. The only difference is the sunlight intensity. So for Strike at Karkan, you got 1.2 brightness, 1.2 contrast, and 1.0 for the saturation for all of these. No way, no color grading, and 2.5 for the red, about 1.8 for the blue, and or green, 1.8. Uh, about 2.0 for the green, actually. You're pretty close to 2.0. And then blue is about 1.53. For Gulf of Oman, yet again, brightness 1.2, contrast 1.2, saturation 1.0. They're all the same. All of these values are the same for all the back to car cans. So sunlight intensity is at 2 for red, 1.68 for the green, and 1.198 for the blue.
Sharky Peninsula is, and this one is the one that looks especially good, I think, is the red is 0.517, the green is 0.381, and the blue is 0.287, and yet again, same brightness, contrast, and saturation values. And finally, we have Wake Island, which is 2.2 for the red, 1.855 for the green, and 1.317 for the blue. And yet again, just so you know, these are what I like to use. There's something that I found online through other people that really played around with it a lot more than I did. And yet again, make sure that you save settings once you finish doing all these little value tweaking. So make sure that you save settings so that you don't lose these values. And once again, if you forget what a value should be or you accidentally type in something incorrectly or you don't like the way it looks, just hit restore defaults and that will change everything back to the way it was originally. It, it will be like the original blue battlefield like you bought it out of the box or downloaded it or whatever. It will restore to what it was originally. And I think that's all that I have to say. If you guys missed yesterday's video, I will link it in the description. If you have any questions for me, I can probably answer them probably in a form of a comment or something, but I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Auf Wiedersehen und bis bald und later.